Oh, hi all, welcome back to the John Deere tractor restoration. And as you can see, we've got um, some of the head bolts or studs all put back in. Um, one little note to remember when you're putting those studs in is to put some Loctite on them or sealant because um, they do screw straight into the block so that it's not a bottomed out hole in here. That hole there on all of them goes straight into the water jacket. So if you don't seal them, there's that possibility that you can get um, a bit of water leakage. So yeah, put a bit of Loctite on them or sealant of some sort. You can see the pistons are in there, nice and lubed up obviously. Um, so yeah, they're good to go. Over here on the bench, we've got the cylinder head. Uh, we finished putting the valves in the other day on video. Um, you can see the ramp up effect on these mid series John Deere B's in the cylinder head cast into the cylinder head. That was the idea was that was to help swirl the um, fuel air mixture, meant to give it a better um, combustion in the head. So there on the there down here, that is the. Um, that bolts down underneath one of the cylinder head bolts, nuts, and that uh, is an oil feed to the rockers, which are laid there, which we have not cleaned up yet, but we'll do. So you've got to put a little bit of sealant, ideally on the back of this, not too much, just something to make it tacky, so that it seals down to the down to this area here. It, go, it goes over that hole there. You see that hole there after the air, the oil hole. From the oil system, and that's the bolt, head bolt comes through and it locks it down onto that. And that groove there picks up the oil and then it's forced through that little hole there and eventually to the rockers. Now, in the um, John Deere, we talk about using lead washers under the nuts on these things. Um, oh, I've never used lead washers. This, I vaguely recall, did have lead washers on it. But as you can see, the lead washer there, they squidge out. I can't see the point of them really. Um, time to get them torqued down, they just splatter out. So most gasket kits you get, now I find come with copper washers, which are a lot harder and, um, and obviously don't squidge too much. So yeah, so don't forget your copper washers. I think the idea is to help with, so you don't get any stiction on the nut when you tighten it down. Um, down here, I have the head gasket. Now, I don't generally put any sealant on head gaskets, but with these old tractors I have been in the past and I have done today, um, mainly because the castings aren't always brilliant and I don't think it uh, does it any hurt to put something like... Um, well, what I use is that um, VHT, Copper Gasket Cement. Um, that's a new tin actually, I've just got that, but uh, I've used that a lot in, on cylinder heads when there's been problems, never had a problem with, after you've done it, it seems to cure the problem, so yeah, good product that. So yeah, so we sprayed both sides of that, goes tacky, and um, goes tacky on there, and then you, um, yeah, I think it just helps nip it all together. So I'm going to attempt to do this on video, <laughs> so here we go, I'm going to have to just the um, the uh, camera in the in the stand. So if you're wondering what's going on, there we go. So I'm going to mount it up on there somehow. How's that? I'm hoping that is going to come out. So yeah, that's good. So the first thing we're going to do, put the head gasket on. I'm going to pick that gasket up. Now, in the book it talks about putting the smooth side, um, the smooth side of the head gasket towards the block. Now, <laughs> the gasket's smooth on both sides, but what I suspect is, is because these are a laminated gasket, I think the it means there's a, there's a bit of metal there turned over and um, nips it all together. So, I'm calling that the smooth side. So, we're going to put that on like so, like that. There we go. So there's that little ridge 
of the gasket is towards the head. Um, so yeah, that's good there. And so the next thing really is to um, drop the head on. So I'm going to bring the head over. Best I can. Heavy old whoop. Ooh, there we go. I'm going to bring the head over. And line. Line it all up. Just check that everything's looking good, as good as it can be. So hopefully we won't have to see that off again. Not in this time, not in this chapter, it's lifetime again. So there we go, pushed up. So next job, start putting the washers on and the nuts. I cleaned these all up on the um, on the wire wheel. It's the best way to clean them up, I think. <clears throat> you don't have to talk them down too hard. The, um, I, I knew you had about a hundred foot pounds of torque on the torque wrench. Um, obviously there's not that much compression on these if you recall I keep saying about compression with these engines they're not high compression engines so it doesn't need great amounts of great amounts of um, torque on them to keep them in place except for you boys that are Go in tractor pulling with them and do all sorts with them when you're ready after. Just give them a bit extra. That's a whole different kettle of fish, I suspect. Sorry, I'm rambling on. <laughs> that one on. And we'll wash them missing, so I'm guessing it's the one I have over here. There we go. Put that one on. And then, so a final thing I said, going back to this uh, oil feed doolally here, casting. So it goes on like that, right there, like that. As you can see, it's a slightly longer bolt that. And we put that in there. I'm sure some of you have done this before, so I've got my head in the way probably as well, so no one can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so that wants to be roughly pointing straight up. And then we'll just get the torque wrench. And I generally work from the middle out over, so well, on, I better have my uh, have an extension on there. <coughs> Hope this video is still seeable, yeah. Good. And put that extension on. Alright, I'm usually set off with about 50 pounds of torque. But initially I'm just gonna do this. Oop, that's gonna turn, I thought it would. Just initially just bed them all up too. I don't have to give them too much initially, just so if you've noticed I'm working out in a cross pattern. So I'm starting middle, there, 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 and I'm going here. Just to spread spread it all out a bit.
Did that one. Yeah. Back to there. So I have the torque wrench set at um, 50 pounds. So I'm going to now. Hmm. I thought that might happen. I'm going to have to try and hold that. If it twists up the way, then we can't get the, uh, the feed pipe onto it. There we go. Because I put some sealant on, I suspect. Yeah, that looks good. So, there we go, so that one's up to. Click, click. There we go. And we'll go to that one. There we are. There's that one. We're doing them ones there. So we'll go and get that one. We did, so we'll go here. There we are. Just run right back around, check we're all there. So we'll readjust the, the um, torque wrench. So I'm going to take it up to 90 now. There we are, 90. That one, that one, yeah. there we go. That one. There we go. Talk down. So what I will do is go around that again, just to double check, but yeah, pretty well there. So yeah, good stuff, head on. So that's what that was about. Hopefully that's been of interest to you all. That's a, another stage further down the road for us.
So, very good. I'm not going to run on with this video. The last one took forever to load up. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye.